I think mindset is something like I've been kind of struggling with recently, just like having to change, right? Because I was working in events and then now like I'm not, right? So just changing my mindset and trying to like be open to a new career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you had a major change. Yeah. So it's been cool, like joining like a fine calm here and just connecting with people. So it's like really opening up possibilities. Yeah. And you took action with Location Indie because you just, you had just found the group. You weren't listening to the podcast, right? That's how you I was listening to Jason. You were listening to the Zero to Travel. How long were you listening to that? A few years. Okay, so you were listening for a while. So you were pretty ingrained in like the Zero to Travel cult culture of people. Like you kind of had an idea of like what that was about. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then yeah, I think it was just like ready, pretty recently. I was like, okay, I might as well do this. Yeah, well do this. <laughs> you know, and so we we've, we've had you know I've kind of gone through a lot of those crazy stressful situations. Um, I think what I love about this group and knowing you, Deb, is that you've always been, even if you were figuring stuff out, you've always been in a forward momentum direction. <laughs> I love that. And that's one reason why, you know, as soon as I saw you were starting to create things and you were, you weren't even just talking it up, like you were talking about it and then you were doing stuff and like you had step two and then you had like step three and you had like the next move and the next thing planned. It was like, I, from location indie and from knowing you, putting out all this content on Facebook as well, I could see like you are going places, you are moving, you are putting together something that is useful for other people. And so when you decided to create Find Home Here, by the way, the name, um, anyone can can use several ways to Google anything that has to do with it. And I, and I think they should be able to find the community also. So that's a great name. Um, but just be to you know what your mission is being able to find a lot of things a lot of help a lot of resources all in one place um, I think is is really clever um, and I just want to be around something that has positive momentum moving in a forward direction because that's really um, what I need to spur me on to be you know to get my business further along from where it's been. And, and it's, that's such a beautiful example. Thank you, Deb. And it's, it, it was meant to be that you were, you were not going to share in the small group, you were going to share in the large group because um, it's such a beautiful example of one person taking that leap of faith right, into the excitement, into the fear, into the unknown. And it's already had such an incredible ripple effect. Um, and that's what happens. That's how we know we're, we're living our adventure and we're, we're out there in the world um, is because, uh, you know, it impacts so many people. And um, I, I fully believe this community is going to change some lives in a big way. So, um, so uh, yeah, go ahead, Gabrielle. I just wanted to share one more, it kind of ties in with what everybody else shared too. Um, but it, I was actually really inspired by what my partner shared. And my partner, can I call you out? Just give me a nod. Okay, Carol, Carolyn shared with me, um, but I uh, I was inspired by hers because she was saying that somebody else said this, like keeping things fresh and interesting, but also if you look at every day as an adventure and if you approach life that way, even if it is the mundane, because we're in COVID right now and a lot of us are running into the same routines and the same cycles and ways of being every single day, but if you find ways to make that an adventure later in life, you will look back at your life and appreciate life in a much different way, looking at through that, looking through that lens of adventure in a way. And I thought that was really insightful because it just kind of causes me to pause and think like, well, how can I turn every day into an adventure? And it does also, it just causes me to reflect on like, it doesn't need to be something big or something like, cause when I think of adventure, I think of like traveling, going to a different country, backpacking, like going out to nature, things that aren't really available to a lot of people right now. So I appreciated Carolyn's share. Yeah, thank you, Gabrielle. And thank you, Carolyn. That's awesome. Um, you know, this is a big idea. Life is an adventure. That's like, okay, whoa. Um, you know, but it doesn't mean that it has to stay in this, in, in that, you know, huge idea realm. It's how can you pull that, that feeling in to your everyday life, to, to everyday challenges that come up. Enjoy um, it. I love it. <laughs> it's hot at your house, I'm sure. <laughs> Good. All right. Everyone pause. Let's do a couple arm circles. Let's get those arms moving. 
Awesome. I am enough. Yeah, one more. I, I am, am enough. Yeah, yeah like good job. Woo! All right, let's switch our legs. I like it. You can see when I, I'm getting upset or I'm stressed, I, I, I need to get all the, the, they say it's okay to have butterflies, you need to get them all flying in the same direction, right? So um, there, there are certain things that I do depending on, on what kind of feeling that I have. So this is some of the stuff I wrote down, like frustration and anger like that'll that'll call for an energy release of some sort for me so. when like when i was in the navy you know i slept in the same room as like 47 other people you know and the only thing that separated us was a curtain so you know that that music was that that cue for me like you know put the headphones in and it's just it's time to relax and it's time to sleep and just so that was super helpful and then um I also love listening to um, like instrumentals whenever I'm trying to study. Cause like, uh, the, since it doesn't have words, it doesn't distract me, but for whatever reason, it kind of motivates me to do a little bit more work. I got rid of a lot of stuff that I just didn't need. And that was like what I started with was I had clean, cleared out my physical space because when I, I felt really anxious, I noticed that I started to feel really anxious when all these papers were stacked up um, or all these books were, I had all these books everywhere. and clothes, if there was a lot of clothes that was uh, not organized, that would really stress me out. And I had a stressful sales job. So when I came home, the last thing you mm -hmm. do is stressed about your physical space when you're not even at a job, you know, at a stressful job. So, right. Yeah. And here's the thing, it's possible to have a home where every shirt in your closet makes you look good, feel good, feel confident. Every um, picture on your wall, is something you love and truly value and enjoy. Every mug in your cabinet is like the perfect size for that Dunkin' and there's nothing, like there's nothing in there that doesn't make you feel good when it's around you. And you think, oh, this is a dream, but no, it's not. It is reality, it can happen. Um, it's just, you know, you, it's a little scary, I think in the beginning, like it took me a couple rounds till I really, like there were levels, you get rid of the easy things first, and then you you, you progressively get better at it. But um, it def when you, when you get to the the end of that race, like I love it. Like I love coming home, and there's nothing here in my house that I look at that doesn't make me happy. I've only been to like probably three or four states, to be honest. It's okay. Same so, here. I um, I was rarely out of California, and then. Yeah, like Nevada, Las Vegas, the closest to me, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I know. Yeah. <laughs> cool. But, but. And that's also, when you're talking about traveling, that's something that you like to de-stress with. So that can help, and you're creating. Yeah. And you create while you're traveling yeah. with your photos and things like that. So it kind of... Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, I went to Rehoboth. I've never been to Delaware ever till that day. And I was like, I told my friends the night before, like I felt like I was so stressed out, I was gonna punch a wall or something. Like I never would, but I felt like that. So I woke up in the morning and just went and took my camera, took photographs and that was that. So I went somewhere that I've been before and just calmed down. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe your goal could be if you do decide to do traveling, you could uh, decide, okay, this is the these are the trips I'm gonna take, and you could try to schedule them out and plan it, um, and then set set t you know dates, put them on the calendar, because then you can take action on those those adventures. Okay, so, yeah, like a good plan. I never thought of that, but yeah.